Okay guys, I'm going to show you today how to create a culture tank and design to grow springtails and cultivate them. Springtails, both European, British and tropical. Also wood lice, both tropical dwarf white wood lice and our own common grey like wood lice. Along with other things you can cultivate, dendrobina worms in here. Uh, patch nodar groups which obviously turn into sun beetles you can you can cultivate your whole, whole your whole substrate in here and you know you can keep it then for emergency use or you can even share it amongst friends this is obviously uh, designed for people that have a bioactive uh, reptile tank which as you can see i have there and this is what is called your cleanup crew these will take care of any waste matter any fungus any mold anything basically these will break it down and take care of it that's why you ain't got to worry about if you get any mold in there or any fungus they will take care of it any any sort of sort of um debris waste they will take care of it. any rotting wood they'll take care of it and um, so you're gonna need to sort of grab yourself some bits of wood and stuff i mean i've been over there at my local uh forest which is away from like pollution and stuff and just got some bits of wood yeah uh, as you can see i've got some woody growing on here this is one, this is just like leaf litter, a couple of old twigs, and this is this a mixture is uh, it's like a, a mixture of leaf litter mold, organic compost, must use organic compost, and normal cocoa husk that comes in the solid brick that you dissolve in water. Um, and then if you can see, if I lift this up now, you might be able to see some of the springtails. Yeah, there you go. That there is your white tropical white springtails these things will climb all over any waste matter inside your tank inside your varium over your snake poo everything and just literally break it down and so if you see here i've just left in some bits of grape and believe it or not a tea bag they seem to have uh, swarmed around that let's have a look there if you can see it This is basically, I mean, I've also put in some, you know, they've got, they've got the rotten leaves that they'll they'll use to feed on and break down. But you can also put, like I say, fruit in there, some potato peeling, um, some flake fish food, but don't overdo it on the flake fish food, too much protein for them and they'll they'll flourish way too quickly. Um, but this will just keep naturally cycling, recycling. They'll, they'll die and more will breed. And the population gets bigger and bigger. There's only one tub that went in here now and I've absolutely got loads of them. And you can see them all over the place. Again, in this one, in here you can see some some fruit that's got a bit of malt on it but they literally when I opened this lid up they were covered on that they were all over it let me just see if I can see some there you go so again full to the brim the springtails and these are vital in any sort of vivarium so what you can do if you see the leaf litter they're now all over that so basically what you can do is you can sort of transfer this and sort of top it back up into your vivariums as and when you need. You might not need to, I mean, vivariums, should, they should, they should just self-sustain themselves, so you shouldn't have that problem. However, you can sort of, you know, cultivate these, grow them on, and uh, you can say you can share them out between your friends. Uh, anyone else is starting up a vivarium and they need help, this is fully flourished. They're not going to start something from new, so they can, you know, they can, they can put some of this in. And it will start to flourish really, really quickly. Therefore, it, it sort of um, it sort of matures almost straight away. Inside this one here, this is freshly clean, so there's nothing in here with anything British. So I found some uh, wood lice that were in here, and and if you can see, when I broke up these bits of old wood that I collected from over the forest, you probably won't see them here now, but there are absolutely loads of uh, native British springtails. They're hard to tell, unlike the whites, because they are um, dark brown, dark grey. But again, they're difficult to see. So anyway, inside here, it's just a mixture of cocoa husk. There is a uh, mixture of organic compost. And in between, in all the layers, I'm just putting in bits of wood, bits of debris wood, bits of old log. I mean, this sort of wood, it's just, it's rotting, it's, it's crumbling, but it's good for them. So that's all you do. And you put the food in there, and they will naturally sort of... Um, don't actually um, grow on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this out of here and some of these out of here and put them into here. In this tub here, I've also got some 
Pachinoda Grubs. There's 10 in there. They've um, made their way, buried their way into the substrate and they'll now cocoon. In a couple of weeks time, hopefully they'll come out with some nice sun beetles, um, which don't play much, um, much point in the cleanup crew, but they are decorative. They look very nice and very well worth putting in your vivarium.